Well, the 500 RS is nearly finished. It's just got a, a couple of little things to go. Need to get the front mud guard on there. It's been sprayed, so I've just got to go and collect it. But um, I think everything else it is, is done. It's got the look that, I've, that I want. It's almost like a standard RS250, but there's subtle hints that there's a bit more to it. Obviously, the giveaway is the, is the writing on the side panel. But apart from that, at first glance, it probably looks like a bit of a tarted up RS250. Um, but uh, when you get closer, you can see that uh, there's a little bit more to it than just that. Certain people may be able to spot that the engine is a bit taller and a bit beefier looking. But um, I certainly think that uh, at first glance it, will, it might fool a few people. But uh, I wanted it to look almost standard, but, um, but then surprise a few people with the, how it sounded and, and how it went. So uh, when the weather's a bit nicer, I'll have to get some more miles under, under its belt, because at the moment it's only done... 50 miles on the new piston and rings, so I think it's been recommended that I do uh, about 300 to run it in fully. So, uh, but seeing as it's <coughs> mid mid January, I don't think I'll uh, I'll be in any hurry to take it out just yet. There's the new um, the new caliper setup with the CBR 400 caliper and uh, and the homemade adapter bracket there. and the FMX650 disc. So, uh, now it's had a fresh coat of paint. Uh, and it's all, all the same color now, it makes it look a bit nicer. I haven't had much luck in getting that wider rim on the rear, so uh, I'll just have to leave it as it is for the time being. But. Uh, Everything else, I think, uh, is is just about just about perfect for what I want, anyway. There you go.